Number 12 on your list is Forsythia intermedia, border Forsythia, or simply just called Forsythia. So this plant is the true harbinger of spring. It has these bright yellow flowers uh, with four uh, petals. They're produced in the axils and they are produced in prolific numbers. So uh, this whole hedge, they, they, the flowers come out before the leaves and it will be covered in these uh, bright yellow flowers in spring. It's really actually a nice, uh, ni nice beginning to spring to have these bright yellow flowers, very cheery. So it is, uh, the main things about Forsythia, they are uh, quite a tough plant. They're in the, being in the olive family, they have oppositely arranged leaves and those four parted, uh, four petaled flowers is another typical trait in the uh, family Oleaceae. Uh, they uh, tend to have square stems, which is most distinct on young stems, okay? But they do tend to be, you can feel that they're a little bit grooved even on a little bit older stems, but they feel distinctly square on the young stems. The leaves are narrowly elliptic and tend to be entire out towards the tips. But this is one of those going back to that you should look over every part of the plant that you have available. You can see out here at the tip, they're narrowly elliptic, the leaves are entire, whereas, and they're, they're on the order of maybe two to two and a half inches long. But you get down here towards the base, they are actually uh, dentate, serrate at the base, and they are upwards of four and a half, five inches uh, long. So again, if you just had a uh, cutting that may look like this, I would actually have a little bit hard time identifying that, whereas with my whole branch, or of course with my whole plant, I have a much easier time. Uh, they do, this is, uh, you won't always have pruners or a knife on you to identify this, but they do actually have a chambered pith. So if you look from the end, they are actually hollow or open. And if you cut down the side, there are little chambers. That's what chambered pith means, is that it's uh, like bamboo, like stalks of bamboo where there are segments uh, separating the different sections. So that's what chambered pith is. Finally, as a whole, uh, Forsythia intermedia is quite large and requires lots and lots of space. This is a great use for this plant. It's on the border of a parking lot. Uh, on the other side is a large grassy area and it just is a long, uh, extensive uh, 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 sweep of uh, Forsythia intermedia. There are some modern cultivars that are much smaller. And so if you are planting these in a modern homeowner landscape, I do encourage you to be sure you're selecting one of the more dwarf uh, modern cultivars. But great plant, old timey plant, you see it in a lot of landscapes. It does tolerate considerable pruning, so you can hack these guys back. And uh, there's a place for Forsythia intermedia in, uh, in most landscapes.